Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. We are very glad, alhamdulillah, that uh, Allah is uh, has been very kind and merciful uh, on us uh, sinful servants. Uh, Allah subhanahu wa taala says in the Holy Quran that. وَإِذْ أَرَادَ شَيْءٍ أَنْ يَقُولَ لَهُ كُنْ فَيَكُنْ That whenever Allah decides to do something, He just has, He just says كُنْ uh, to that thing that do happen and that thing happens. كُنْ uh, فَيَكُنْ That Allah just orders that thing to happen and that thing happens. Uh, it's just very easy for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. إِنَّ اللَّهَ عَلَىٰ كُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدِيرٌ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is uh, is able to do everything, uh, nothing is beyond Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, for the past uh, some time, uh, with Allah's mercy, alhamdulillah, uh, we have been uh, trying to spread this message of truth and trying to tell Muslim Ummah about the coming forth tough times and about the bright future after those tough times. Uh, initially it looked like so lonely but alhamdulillah uh, by Allah's mercy uh, the things are spreading the message is spreading and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is making it happen just like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran wa antum al in kuntum mu'minin, that you don't need to be anxious you don't need to worry you don't need to distress you will be the successful you will be the ones who will be successful who will uh, who will have the success if you are the movements, if you are the righteous ones. Uh, Alhamdulillah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our efforts. We hope that uh, we are on the right path. We expect Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, and, and then we wish and make dua from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to keep us on the right path. Alhamdulillah. So that's uh, exactly what's happening that the message of truth is spreading. Not only in Pakistan uh, and every corner of Pakistan, the message is spreading. Um, all over the world alhamdulillah and uh, previously you must have seen uh, that uh, we had uh, we had delegations from uh, indonesia and other parts of the world and now alhamdulillah we have a delegation from uh, malaysia and this delegation includes um, uh, the the educated and working uh, professionals uh, of malaysia and like some people ask us that why are all the delegations have been coming from Indonesia only before. Uh, so see, we have a delegation from Malaysia right now, and we do have people who, ha who are coming to Pakistan to join us, to support us from other parts of the world, like France, uh, United Kingdom, United States, uh, like other parts of Middle East. Uh, but you know, everyone has their own reality, their own circumstances. Not everyone is comfortable in coming forth and presenting some uh, themselves in front of camera and on social media. But Alhamdulillah, from time to time, we try to uh, bring our people uh, on camera who are Alhamdulillah willing uh, to support this cause openly and are willing to uh, uh, come forward uh, on camera. So today we have a delegation from Malaysia and we have uh, a brother uh, Abdullah Salam uh, who is uh, the head of an Islamic institution, a, a madrasa in uh, Malaysia. Uh, he's a, he's, he's uh, like uh, running an Islamic school as, uh, as an as a organizer, organizer or the principal. And then we have brother uh, Abdul Salam. Uh, he's a working professional, mashallah, and um, and a very uh, experienced and um, and and uh, really very good working professional, mashallah. And he has got a lot of uh, exposure, experience, and knowledge um, in Islamic eschatology and, and end of times and other uh, aspects of uh, of, of uh, Quran and Sunnah, alhamdulillah. Uh, then we have brother Faisal, he's also a working professional and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given him a, a, like a exposure and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given him the tawfiq uh, to understand the matters of uh, end of times and how uh, things uh, would unfold in the coming future. Uh, so we'll talk to them one by one and see, see why are they in Pakistan and what are their intentions of spending their time, money and resources to come all the way in Pakistan 
and like apparently materially materially uh, materialistically speaking uh, they don't seem to have any um, material benefits of out of this trip spending their time money resources and leaving their jobs and families for uh, for some time uh, so i will talk to them one to one and try to understand what, what are their motivations and why are they here and how they see pakistan uh, in in the coming future uh, so let's get to a brother uh, Abdullah Salam. Brother Abdullah Salam, uh, uh, welcome to Pakistan and we are very glad that you are here. So, uh, first of all, um, please introduce yourself. Uh, what do you do? And uh, like totally from as a personal perspective, uh, what are your qualifications? What do you do? And um, where do you live in Malaysia? Different, whatever the introduction part you can tell them uh, from your side please assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh thank you to bro awais nasir alhamdulillah mashallah uh, my name is abdullah salam bin muhammad shafi'i i am from selangor malaysia i am here as representative from malaysian to meet brother kasim especially Brother Muhammad Qasim Ibn Abdul Karim and all of his helpers here in Pakistan, mashallah. And we find this uh, very eye opening. Basically, myself as a teacher, as Tafis teacher in a madrasa in Malaysia, not very much student, just a few students. But in our madrasa, we uh, try to produce a hafiz, and me also try to introduce for them uh, some religious subjects uh, from Tawheed, Sirah, uh, Fiqh, and Tajweed, and so on. Yes as a basic uh, introduction for them to know about the religion, mashallah. So, uh, Brother Abdullah Salam, um, you have come all the way to Pakistan, you have spent your time, money, energy, resources, and you have left your family and your uh, work over there. So, you're not, you're not getting any kind of material benefit for uh, coming over here and you had all sort of uh, complications. Uh, this is like a corona scenario. You know, PCR tests and, uh, and and vaccination and visa complication, all sorts of things. So what are you getting out of this visit? Why are you in Pakistan in the first place? Tell us, be being an Ustad, we understand that you can explain things uh, from very beginning to detail uh, in, a, in a very good fashion. So please tell us thoroughly, what is your basic purpose of coming to Pakistan? Why are you here in the first place? Alhamdulillah, I come here. Uh, although many complication uh, about the process but uh, for me it's nothing it's just a procedure that we need to take the benefit that we get is we really want to meet uh, bro Muhammad Qasim bin Abdul Karim and to meet him in person to know him in more details to look at his own uh, attributes and behaviors and to know him more in deep, in personal level. So this is uh, the first and the ultimate motivation why we are here uh, because uh, by reading only from his dreams, of course, uh, we did study from his dreams uh, in details and it's opened our eyes and opened our minds that the end is near, but uh, still we need to check on his personal level. Uh, so, although me personally, by reading his dreams, I already convinced that this is 
really from Allah himself but when when we meet him me personally uh, we discover a lot more dimension that uh, strengthen our belief that this person is not a liar this person is not lying so that make us forget whatever complication that we may face before and after and alhamdulillah for all of these things so um, thank you jazakallah uh, brother abdullah salam uh, for explaining your intentions of